Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Frugalissima. My name's Sam and this is where I talk about all things sewing. Today is number 85 in 100 Days of Sewing and today I'm going to be talking about some free tank top patterns or sleeveless top patterns that I've found for you. So if you've been struggling in this heat wave that we've been having, certainly in Yorkshire, then this is the video for you. So first of all, Welcome. If you've not seen any of my videos before, then I talk about mostly dressmaking, sometimes bag making and accessories. I've been doing a 100 days of sewing series, which today is number 85, looking at accessibility of sewing. So if you're new to sewing, then maybe sharing some tips and techniques and cost as well. So making sewing a little bit more accessible in terms of cost. Hence the Frugal Friday videos where I look at free patterns. So today I'm looking at 10 free tank top patterns and some discounts and some giveaways as well. So keep watching. So during July, I've been looking at sewing sustainably as well as sewing frugally. So this is where these tank top patterns came around because they take up very little fabric. So I've already got a video out about sewing with zero waste patterns, done a review of Wendy Ward's book, uh, which is how to sew sustainably. Last week's video was sewing with one meter of fabric and I mentioned in that video that I could probably do a full video of uh, tank top videos. So just to say what a tank top is, or what my definition of a tank top is for this video is, it's just a sleeveless top, not a strappy one, I, I would call that a cami or a, a vest, and finishes somewhere sort of hip or mid hip, like a t-shirt, but without the sleeves. So that's just my quick definition. I've got some that are woven, but most are knits, all for adults in this video, mostly women to be fair. It's not a top 10 ultimate list or anything like that. It's just 10 free patterns that I found that I thought would be useful to anybody. Just different variety of styles. So if you prefer a high neck or a V neck or a curved hem or a split hem, or even a swingy sort of type, try to keep a, a wide variety of styles within the video. So I'm going to start with the one that Mandy's wearing now and that's the Durango Tank by Hey June Handmade. And I'll start with this one because it's one that I've made already. So at first glance this is just a basic tank but it's got a few little details that I thought would be of interest. The first detail is that the back is actually not cut on the fold it's two separate pieces you probably can't see that but for anybody who needs to make a sway back adjustment on a regular basis uh, this is a useful one because you can actually get a bit a better fit at the back there quite fitted throughout the shoulders uh, and then you've got a, a deep sort of cut at the arms at the back and highish neck and again it's it's sort of cutting cut away at the shoulders there the neck has finished with a neckband the sleeves have got a band on them, but they're sort of invisible. They are tucked under, so they're not. it's not a visible sleeve band. And it's, like I said, it's quite fitted through the shoulder and the bust, and then it's a little bit looser through the, through the waist and the hip. I've made this in a, a cotton rib, and what she's saying is that it's suitable for cotton jersey, viscose jersey, bamboo, or anything similar, a light to a mid-weight knit. It is drafted for a B cup, and uh, it's sizes 2 to 22, which is a 31 inch bust up to a 45 inch bust, and that goes up to a 50 inch hip. I did get mine out of a, a meter, but she's saying that you need 1.25 yards for this one. So. I don't really know why. There's no way that it takes so, so much fabric unless it's the width of the fabric, perhaps. And you can do it as a print at home or as A0. I got mine out of much less than a metre of fabric. I've probably made a size 8 in this one. There's no sign-ups for this one. It's just available straight from the Hey June handmade website. You just click on and it's just available free there. So yeah, just a very basic tank. That will start with that one as a basic one because it, you, can, you can do what you like. This is a rib knit. But if you did it in a plain one, you could put decals or something like that on it. But yeah, you, it's not quite a racer back, but you would probably need a racer back bra. I tend to have my bra straps showing on this one or go braless. It would show your bra at the back, so it depends on your comfort zone on whether you like your bra showing or not. So that is the first one. So I've got two now from Halla Patterns and this first one is a really fun one. This is a Stardust tank. Loads of options on this one. You can have it as a tank or a tee, different arm lengths. But I really, really liked this one because of it's so different with the star at the side. You can do a little bit of a asymmetric colour blocking on it as well. And 
it has got actually a side pocket if you do if you don't do the star and you do the the color blocking bit you can put a little side pocket in it it's got a waistband so great opportunity for using up your scraps and doing lots of color blocking and using all your fun scraps some really really fun examples on the Halla patterns website here so what i liked about this one is the fabric requirements are actually broken down into uh, the components so she's broken it down into the bodice the bands and the sleeves so if you do want to colour block you know exactly how much you need so she is saying you need a yard for the bodice and again quite a tight fitting tank is this so I'm not quite sure why you would need so much fabric goes from a 30 inch bust up to a 55 inch bust and up to a 59 inch hip you will need to join the facebook group the Halle patterns facebook group to get this i've put together a little graphic to show you how to get to it once you've joined up the facebook you go to the announcements page and you will see a little piece at the top where it says see more you click on that and when it opens it up, you need to scroll to the top and all the codes are there. So yeah, it's a little bit of a faff, so that's why I've done the graphic for it. Definitely worth it for this cutie of a pattern. It is available as A0, print at home as well, and there's a layered option, so you can just print your own size on this one. Fabric requirement is saying cotton lycra, rayon lycra, French terry, single or a double brush polyester. I would say that a good quality single cotton jersey would be your best bet for this one, especially if you're going to do the one with the stars. You want something that's going to be fairly stable so I personally would avoid anything with any viscose or rayon or anything drapey in it because I think it would try and stretch out those points I think would be quite difficult really fun top this one I would definitely be wanting to give it a go myself so if you want a little sew on for this one when I give it a bash let me know below and I will do a sew along for you so definitely not a big enough friendly pattern that one I don't think with the points on the stars I think the colour blocking one would would be but I wouldn't attempt that one if I'd never sewn with knits before but the instructions do look good and clear so give it a bash if you've got a bit of experience so I've got another one here from Halla Patterns as well and that is the Agnes tank now I discovered this one when I was doing the frugal frocks challenge and the main pictures of this one is a maxi dress so I just thought it was a, a dress pattern but again it's an, another one where it's got lots and lots of options you can do knee length you can do short sleeves long sleeves as far as the tank top is concerned this is quite fitted and then it's quite loose through the hips so a little bit more forgiving through the hips it's a 30 inch to a 55 inch bust it's a good one this if you don't like it too fitted through the hips uh, she's suggesting on this one something with a 50% stretch, far away stretch, such as a double brush poly, rayon stretch or a French terry, something lightweight. So yeah, two good patterns there. Same deal as the other one is you need to join her Facebook group and the code for it is there. So another basic tank but with a scoop neck instead of the high neck, if you prefer something with a scoop neck, is the Super Basic Tank by Half Moon Atelier. This is a little bit smaller size range. It goes from a 30 inch to a 44 inch bust up to a 48 inch hip and it does look to have quite a bit of negative ease throughout so if you prefer a tighter tank perhaps for sportswear or something like that she's suggesting a light to mid weight with a far way stretch for this one and um, something with an element of drape such as a bamboo or a rayon viscose so you're looking for something with 60% stretch ideally but if you go for something slightly more or less then you will have a, a looser or a tighter fitting top and she is saying that you need three quarters to seven eighths of an in a, a yard sorry to make this so that's like 70 to 80 centimeters if you're wondering what i'm talking about in terms of far way stretch and uh, recovery and things like that i have got a separate video talking about working with knits and i, I cover all that but a two-way stretch will just go horizontally like that a far way stretch will go horizontally and vertically and a recovery is just how well um, something comes back once you've stretched it out. It's not a poor fabric or a good fabric, it's just the nature of some fabrics and the amount of lycra that they have in them that gives you that recovery. But I have got a full video explaining all that and a few techniques and what needles to use and things like that. I'll leave a link to that at the end. I forgot to mention at the beginning, 
all the links to all the patterns that are at the, the bottom in the description box for you to just click on. You don't have to write everything down and remember everything. So if you prefer a tank that's got a v-neck, Winterwear Designs has got the trendy tank and this has got a couple of options in that you can do a shirt tail, a hem and you can do contrast bands as well. So if you've got a few scraps that you want to use up it's a good one. This is a semi-fitted one. It's designed to fit on a yard of 60 inch fabric so it's a, it is actually designed to do that on all the sizes. Size range it goes up from a 28 inch bust up to a 50 inch bust, fits up to a 54 inch hip and this again you need to go to her Facebook group to get the code. If you've got a favourite pattern designer it's always worth joining their Facebook groups, they've usually got codes on there and then you just go through the usual checkout procedure. I am a big fan of Winterwear Designs, she's got lots of variations on her patterns but also she shows her patterns shown on a variety of models as well. So you see different sizes, you do see different age ranges. This particular pattern has got cut lines as well for anybody who's under five foot four. So that's a good one as well if you're a little bit on the shorter side, you don't have to do the hard work. So next up I've got three from Life So Savory. I featured her, one of her patterns last week. That was the open back sparks tank and she's got a load of free patterns on her website and including maybe a half a dozen tanks, some basic ones but I'm going to focus on ones that are a little bit different because I've already covered basics. And she's got some children's ones as well and she's also got a tutorial of turning just a basic tank into a dress if you want to do that. The three that caught my eye this week is this one that's a, a racer back tank. A little bit different because it gives the racer back effect with a bit more coverage because it's used in colour blocking. Uh, to, to give that racer back effect. Looks like she's used a lace for the insert on one of her samples. But you could use stripes, you could change the direction of stripes. There's a band at the bottom as well, so you could play about with stripes with that. Great one for using up scraps is this. This goes from a 32 inch bust up to a 50 inch bust. Will fit on a yard of fabric if you're doing all the same fabric. And the beauty of this one is it's only 14 pages to stick together. I think it's only available as it print at home. I don't think there's an A0 on this one. All her instructions are available as a, in the form of a blog post uh, but there is a little additional video helping you out on that one as well. It's not a full tutorial, I don't think, it's just a little additional video. But yeah, gives you a little bit more coverage than something like this I think. Bit of a fun one is that one. Uh, for anybody who's a little bit of a more of a sporty type, this is a good one. This is completely cut away so it will definitely do sports bra or something underneath this one definitely been designed with running in mind. I think she does a bit of jogging and this has got really deep um, holes at the front and then a real cut out at the back which just goes into a thin band of elastic at the back. It is finished with fold over elastic is this one. It's not arm bands, it's fold over elastic and she did say in her blog post that she'd have been as well using the same colour elastic for the the little strap at the back to make it all match in. So this is available in sizes 32 up to a 50 inch bust and it's again it's just 12 pages to print. So she's made this in like a really tight knit mesh fabric I'm assuming that's for breathability but could I assume that she can make you can make this in a, a, a lycra as well any kind of sports knit would work for this I would think. The last one from Life So Savory is the cross back tank thought I'd include this one. It probably takes up a little bit more fabric with it being crossed over at the back but I thought this one would give you a bit more coverage and a little bit different. Potentially more suitable for smarter occasions as well I would say. Less sporty and more sort of going out for lunch. So this one is available in sizes 30 to 44 inch and it's quite fitted at the bust but then quite forgiving at the hips. It says it takes a yard or up to 1.25 depending on the width of the fabric. It is a bit vague on the specifics of the fabric that you need to use but I would suggest a single jersey for this one. Looks like she might have used something with a bit of viscose or rayon in, in the sample that she's used. It does look like it could do with a good press. The sleeves are just finished by tucking under so there is a neckband on it but the sleeves are just finished by tucking under so a little bit easier, less faffing about with bands and what have you. And again only 12 pages to print with this one. I don't think any of her patterns are available as A0, I think they are all print at home. So to download her patterns you just need to click on the icons, I will show them as I'm speaking. Some of them mention Craftsy and that's because she was a member of Craftsy but it just takes you to a separate page on her website. It puts the pattern in your cart and then you go through the checkout process like you, as if you were buying it but it's quite straightforward. 
I have noticed actually a few sort of snarky comments on her blog post about how they've tried to go around and around in circles and they haven't been able to download it. Could I just ask a little favour? If you do use any of Emily's patterns, that's the name of the pattern designer, you should just go on and say thank you. And uh, if you've got any problems downloading it, let me know and I'll, I'll try and help you out if I can. She's got a lot of free patterns on there and it must be quite a lot of hard work maintaining it. So I think a little th thank you would be would be nice if you do download a pattern and catty and rude comments don't help anybody, do they? Right, lecture over. <laughs> So onto a couple of woven patterns now and I'm going to talk about the Isabella Tank from Spit Up and Stilettos. I mentioned Spit Up and Stilettos last week in my video about one metre patterns and have used her patterns quite a lot in the past. She is now defunct as a designer for adult patterns and for quite a while you couldn't access her patterns but they're now hosted by Hoops Park Studios so you can actually access them all via somebody else's website. What I've done is set up a Pinterest board so as I'm talking I will show you my Pinterest board so that you can see them a little bit more clearly because I found that they were a little bit blurred. Just a better visual really. So I don't have a lot of photos of the finished products because like I say she's she's no longer designing for adults now. I think she went on to children's patterns if I'm honest. But the Isabella tank, this goes from a size 33 inch bust up to a 45 inch bust, 47 inch hip says it can be made into a variety of woven fabrics, so like lightweight silk chiffon up to a stable cotton. It does say you need 1.25 yards and I think that's because it's got facings, so it's quite cut away at the arms, it's split at the back with a little button fastening and then like I say it's finished with facing. So I think if you are short of fabric, you wanted to get it out of a metre, try using the contrast facing rather than the same fabric. So yeah, a little bit smarter, a little bit more dressy than the, the knit tanks and the cutaway sort of gives it a look of a halter neck which I quite liked about that one. And finally, I couldn't do this video without mentioning the Sorbetto, which was a collect pattern. It's now moved over to Seamwork, same people, but Seamwork host it now. Made this about seven or eight years ago and learned so much making this pattern. I've mentioned before that I've been sewing a long time, but I sort of came back into sewing probably about seven or eight years ago. Never done a bias binding, I've never done a French seam or anything like that. So I cut my teeth on quite a lot of techniques using this Sorbetto tank. So this is just a very basic tank, it doesn't have any fastenings but it does have the bias binding around the neckline and the sleeves and then it's got this interesting pleat detail down the front. Since they originally released this pattern they have upgraded it so you've got a few options now so you can put a sleeve in it if you wish and then they've got a high-low split hem which is finished with facings and I do believe they've actually redrafted it as well because I actually found it was a little bit tight under my armholes. I think it has been redrafted. I've forgotten to write the size range down for this one, but I'll put the size range down for it. So yeah, it'd be lovely this as a workwear tank or evening wear, depending on what fabric that you use for this one. The scoop's not too low. It's probably about the same as what I've got on here. This is the Chelsea Raglan by Fabric Store. So if you need any help with the bias binding, I've got a couple of videos to help you with that one making it out of a 10 inch square for example and actually sewing it down as well. So that's it for the free tank patterns. As I was editing last week and putting together the one metre videos I saw uh, Sharon Sowes had brought out a free tank patterns video as well and I thought oh no she's going to use them all up but there's thousands and thousands of free tank patterns out there. I've had to leave half a dozen out today that I had on my list. I probably could do, do another video but actually she's got 10 more free tank patterns that she's looked at that are completely different to mine so if you want to hop on over to Sharon So's videos she's got 10 more tank top patterns on her YouTube channel as well. I also included two or three tank top patterns in last week's video as well so if you want to go and have a look at that one there's a couple more over there. So on to discounts now and since we're talking about tank patterns. Sinclair Patterns currently has 20% off some of their patterns. So they're $7.99 instead of $9.99. There are several tank top patterns including the Rocky tank for men. So I thought I'd look at that one in a little bit more depth because I couldn't find any free tank patterns for men. So if you know of any let me know below and I'll I'll include them in a separate video. I've got a couple of variations on this one. It's got an optional hood and you can do optional side panels as well and there are two armhole um, options. 
Sinclair patterns draft for different heights so she does go up to a uh, height of six foot three. This is available as an extra small so probably youth sizes up to an extra extra large so that is a 34.6 inch chest up to a 48.8 inch chest. So I thought that was a good one. I couldn't find a, a deadline for that one so it's 20% off. If you want it I would suggest going and getting it now. One more little discount and that is for Pattern Emporium. She's just released the With Love Poncho pattern and Kristen over at Dahlia Society has done a full review of this one so if you want to have a look at the different uh, variations that she's made have a look at that one. But when Pattern Emporium release a new pattern puts 15% off for a week on her new patterns and then a selection of her other patterns as well. So there's 15% off the original price which is $14.50 and that's Australian dollars so it works out at $7.50 sterling, $10.50 US dollars. So there's 15% off that and it's applied at checkout. So in the discounts that she's offering along with the poncho is the Yours Truly Flouncy Hem. This is designed for stretch knit fabrics and it's got two necklines and a flared silhouette. Uh, and a really pretty flouncy hemline. And there's even a hoodie option with this one as well. So this goes from a 29 inch bust up to a 47 inch bust. Available as print at home, A0 and projector. And it's available until the end of Sunday evening. So if you want that, I will get it now. And she always has uh, some really great styling videos to support her patterns and she, they're usually uh, mashable with other patterns that she has available as well. So that's it for discounts. I thought I'd keep it quick this week. A couple of little giveaways are over on Instagram that have been tagged in over the course of the week. And don't forget, if you're on Instagram and there's a giveaway and it asks you to tag somebody in, feel free to tag me in if you don't feel comfortable tagging anybody else in I'm absolutely fine with that gives me a heads up as well uh, if I get time I will share them on my stories I've not had time this week but if I do get time so I found this week there's been a few from so HQ and the, they're only on for a couple of days so I've not I've not had time to do anything with them so these are a couple that are still running one is by Fleur et Eurs I'm sorry if I butchered that <laughs> they're celebrating a thousand followers and that this is a fabric shop in the UK. They're giving away two metres of fabric and that closes on Monday the 26th of July. So all you need to do with that one is like and save the post. So that's a little icon in the bottom of your uh, screen on Instagram and tag somebody in. And for an extra entry then you can just share it on your stories. So that's a good one because I think it'll be quite a minimum amount of people joining in on that one. Another one which I think this ends on the 28th of July. This is from Stitch Witch Patterns and that is to win the Basque dress. Now what's good about this one is there's 20 patterns up for grabs. So again you need, just need to follow them, tag in a sewing pal and this looks like it's a really versatile pattern. Looks like there's loads and loads of options. So there is a dress. Uh, but it can be made as a top. I think there's two skirt options. There's a gathered skirt and a fitted skirt. The top you can have a zip or buttons on it and then there's different sleeve options as well. So it does look like a really good versatile dress. Also available in cup sizes as well. So it's got a C and a D cup size as well as the usual B cup. So it goes up to a 59 inch bust on, a C, on the C and D cup size as this one. So also on Instagram, it's the reveal week for the Crafty Studio PJ party. So that's from Monday onwards. So if you've made your own pyjamas, if you just show them on Instagram and there's some prizes for that one as well, I will leave the details below. Right, that's it from me. <laughs> I hope this is going to be quick to edit. We'll never know and get it up by Sunday at least. I know I call it frugal Fridays. I'm failing miserably on the Fridays, but I do my best. July's been a really, really busy month, so I've not managed to get any of my other videos up so far. I have um, got this zero waste uh, pattern book by says Elizabeth Haywood but she goes by Liz Haywood as well. Uh, I got that through the post this week so I will be reviewing that at some point as part of my uh, sustainable sewing series and I've got some more sustainable sewing videos to follow as well. I just need time to record them and edit them. Let me know which is your favourite tank pattern. If you know of any more let me know below as well and I'll try and include them in a future video. And let me know if you want me to do that sew along for that Stardust pattern by Halla Patterns as well. And don't forget to go along to Sharon Sew's videos to see 10 more. And that's it from me. 
thank you so much for watching and if you like this sort of video don't forget to like and subscribe and if you're feeling generous i do have a Kofi account as well um, i don't like mentioning it but i do have it linked down below i'm saving up for a new camera i do all my recording on my iphone and it's absolutely battered <laughs> i keep dropping it so that's what i'm saving up for if you were wondering links to everything is below so that's it from me thank you so much for watching i shall speak to you later bye mm -hmm.